This is Gary. Gary is your typical 50-something Aussie bloke. Sadly, he's just found out that one of his mates has prostate cancer, and this has made him start thinking about his own risk. He wants to get checked out, but he's heard that screening for prostate cancer can cause more harm than good. He needs more information, so let's help him out. The prostate is a small gland that sits under the bladder. When you empty your bladder, urine passes through your prostate on its way out of the body. Prostate cancer typically grows from abnormal cells in the outer areas of the prostate, away from the urethra, and therefore not in a position to obstruct the flow of urine. This is the reason why men with early prostate cancer may not have any symptoms at all. The way we detect cancer early, before it has had a chance to spread to nearby organs or other parts of the body, is through a blood test called PSA. PSA is not a perfect test. Although a high PSA level may indicate prostate cancer, it can also be raised due to completely benign causes like urine infection or having an enlarged prostate. PSA levels can fluctuate over time and vary from person to person, and some men with very high PSA levels may have no cancer at all, whereas others with low or normal levels may have very aggressive cancers. The best evidence we have for the use of PSA comes from a large European study which showed that PSA testing reduced the risk of death from prostate cancer by 21%. However, in this study, to prevent one cancer death, 781 men would need to have a PSA test and 27 cancers would need to be diagnosed. Therefore, a large number of men will be diagnosed with cancers that are so slow growing that they will die from other causes long before prostate cancer ever catches up with them. Similarly, Men who do not have significant cancer would be exposed to the potential risks of biopsy and treatment. For every prostate cancer death averted, four men will potentially have been diagnosed unnecessarily. So what is at stake? Prostate cancer is the most common cancer diagnosed in Australian men. And as many men die from prostate cancer each year as women from breast cancer, we know that in the 25 years since PSA testing was introduced, the number of men dying from prostate cancer has halved, at least in the United States. And we can predict that if we stopped all PSA testing, by 2025 there would be twice as many cases of advanced prostate cancer and a 20% increase in preventable cancer deaths. To truly understand what is at stake, let's follow Gary on his journey.